Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is of course Jack and welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2. In today's video, we are going to be ranking every single vehicle in Lumber Tycoon 2. Now before we do continue, if you are new around here, please do consider subscribing and turning on notifications if you wish to be kept updated with my latest videos. We're so close to 13,000 subscribers, it would be great if we could hit it for the end of this month. Okay, so we're going to be doing exactly what I've done with my previous tier listing videos and we're going to be using a tier list from the website which will be down in the description below as you can see we're going to be using this website just here which is tiermaker.co.uk or something like that if you want to complete this tier list yourself i will leave it down in the description below where you can go and find it and you can complete the tier list yourself if you wish to throughout this video i'm just going to be going and testing all of the vehicles now do bear in mind before we start this is based off of my opinion and not statistics however for most of these vehicles i don't really think you need to look at statistics like some of them are just completely awful and then some of them are actually quite good so yeah so looking at the tier list let's start off with the basic utility vehicle which I think is actually this vehicle right here now this vehicle is usually the first vehicle that everybody will start off with in Lumber Tycoon 2 it can be purchased from Wood R Us and it costs 400 money I'm gonna go and check that now just to make sure I was right because that was a guess an educated guess I'm pretty sure it's 400 now, why did I I just walk up to the sawmill utility vehicle yeah 400 i'm pretty sure it was 400 so this is pretty much the first vehicle that anyone will start out with once they've sold their sold sign in the wood drop off you forget how slow it is like it is ridiculous like i i think the best way to put this vehicle is it's one of these vehicles that is just to get you from a to b um the handling of the vehicle is quite literally atrocious the speed is also atrocious um, it's also, it can't handle a lot of load, like, I remember going up to the volcano on my old channel and collecting a ton of lava wood and putting it in the back of this truck. And I remember going down the mountainside here, I was just sliding everywhere, like my truck wouldn't cope with the corners. It was really bad. So yeah, no, this truck is not built to be loaded up with wood. It's there for literally grabbing an oak tree, maybe a cherry tree, or even birch trees, but it is not to be overloaded, that's for sure. It will just become uncontrollable. So looking at this tier list, we've got Super OP, we've got OP-ish. <laughs> We've got good, we've got meh, or we've got oof. I wouldn't say this is an oof, considering that this is only worth 400 money. I wouldn't say it's good, I'm gonna say it's not a good vehicle, but for the price and for the, you know, it's the first one that gets you going, I think it's gonna have to go in the good section. Not that the vehicle is good, like, if that makes sense, but think of it as the way that if this vehicle wasn't here in Wood R Us, then we would literally be walking around until we could afford a vehicle from box cars. It's got to go in good. It's the first vehicle that we get in terms of, like, you know, the handling and everything. Yeah, upgrade it as soon as you possibly can. But to get started, it's got lights on the front of it. You know, it, it does what we need it to do. Yeah, it's going in the good section. We'll go through all the vehicles first, and then we'll go on to the more interesting things, such as the, the event items and also the trailers. So the next vehicle that we have on the list is actually the U2... U2? It's not the U2. It's the U2... Oh my lord. It's the Utility Vehicle 2, is it? I think it's the Utility Vehicle 2, which you can purchase over from Boxed Cars. Okay, so over here at Box Cars, as you can see, next to the, the big vehicle that we have, we also have this vehicle here. This is the Utility Vehicle XL, that's right. And it's worth 5,000 money. This is going to be quite controversial because a lot of people really like this truck. However, I do not like this truck. I hardly ever use it. It's just if I, like, if it's the only truck I have, then I'll use it. In my honest opinion, I think that this truck is is a waste of money. Um, so so much a waste of money to the fact that I'm going to have to go and purchase one because I don't think I've ever purchased one. Um, I've only ever used them like as when they've been dropped onto my base. So this is the Utility Vehicle XL. Now, as you can probably tell from, you know, obviously just looking first impressions of this truck, this truck is actually a lot faster than the original utility vehicle that we picked up from Wood R Us. The handling on this vehicle is much better as well. It can take bigger loads of wood compared to the original utility vehicle as well. I do actually believe as well this truck is slightly faster than the, uh, the Val Hauler. So there's a few reasons why I'm not a massive fan of this truck. So, number one is that this costs 5,000 money. Now, put it into perspective, 
By the time that you're at 5,000 money, you've got, you know, uh, you've got your shabby sawmill because you really you don't need to upgrade your sawmill, like, until the bigger, like, versions, like, when you want to milling out bigger pieces of wood. You've probably got a decent axe. By that time, you've probably got the silver axe, I would say. And by the time that you've got the silver axe, in my opinion, you're going to be looking to start collecting lava wood, or that's at least where I would be at anyway. Lava wood in one of those trucks, three lava trees then, three lava trees is going to probably get you around 20,000 money by the time that you've milled them out and sold them. By the time that you've got 20,000 money, you can already afford the Val Hauler, which means that, really, you might as well have just stuck with the basic utility vehicle, admittedly struggled a little bit down this hill. Really, you didn't need to think about this vehicle at all, because, yeah, it might be slightly faster. In terms of the handling, is it's a lot better, yeah, fair enough. However, if you look at the size of the beds, like, I mean, the size of, like, the, um, the the place where you load the wood in, which I, th I believe is called the bed. We just don't call it a bed here in the UK. Like, if we look at this, comparison for the other one, there is a minute difference. Literally almost unnoticeable between this and this. I think the tyres are slightly bigger on this one as well, which obviously, you know, again, makes it better for handling. But really, considering this costs 400 and this costs 5,000, that's a pretty big jump. And if you're still collecting cherry trees and you upgrade to this, that's a large chunk of your money that's gone right there. So in my opinion, for getting around quickly, yeah, maybe this vehicle is best for you. However, the difference between the speed of the Utility XL and the Val Hauler isn't a lot at all. Like, I, I don't think anyway, like, in my opinion. So, in my opinion, this vehicle is just not worth it. Now, if this, if the Val Hauler truck over here was 40,000 instead of the 19,000 that it is, maybe this would be worthwhile and maybe it would be worth getting this truck when you were starting out. But considering at how cheap the Val Hauler truck is with this massive bed to put your wood in, I think that that fact there renders this vehicle pretty useless. Let me know what you think in the comments, but in my opinion, I never purchased one of these like when I was starting out. I've always gone from having one of these to then having one of those, to having the Val Hauler, just not on its side, it's attached to a door. In terms of my opinion and where I think this should go, it's this one just here. I think considering I've just never used it, it's got to go in the meh. If you think that's unfair of me though, let me know down in the comments and just ignore the fact that I just tr I just uh, crashed that truck into a load of presents, so yeah. Okay, so the next one that we're going on to is the Val Hauler. Now, I don't have to go and purchase one of these from uh, Boxcars because I have a ton of them. This is my favourite vehicle to use. Like, this is my 100% go-to vehicle. Oh dear, the door seems to have broken. Let's spawn a new one. This truck here, again, purchased from box cars and it is worth nineteen thousand dollars compared to the other two trucks that we've just done this truck here obviously has a much bigger bed in order to load trees into compared to this one here. This truck here is my go-to. has lights on the front, it has doors, it has a cab. The other interesting fact about this is as well, it has a tailgate at the back, which again, this truck here doesn't as neither does the basic utility vehicle. Now, people are like, oh, what's the point of having that? Like, there is, there is no point to having it. Well, you're wrong. So there is a point to having the tailgate at the back. Now, can I demonstrate this to you? So let's just, for instance, take a piece of palm wood for example so let's take this palm wood and let's take it to the wood drop off as if we were going to be selling it well i am going to sell it because i've got a couple of pieces there one thing that you can do which is pretty interesting with this if you have a truck that is full of wood reverse up to the wood drop off just here reverse right up to the back and open up your tailgate you'll need to reverse slightly but as you can see as you reverse the wood automatically goes into the wood drop off which just makes life a lot easier when unloading a load of wood and that is why I would say that this is probably the best truck that we have in the game so far. Now, I would love to see another truck added into the game that could possibly beat this in terms of the uh, of the values that it has compared to the other two. For this one here, considering that it has all of the features of those ones and more, I wouldn't say it's super OP. Like, there, there's nothing about it that makes it super OP. However, I would say that it is OP-ish. That what makes one of these vehicles super OP, I don't know. If it had any special features, I don't know what you could have it. As a special feature but say for instance 
if you could have a vehicle, if Fortio made a vehicle that had a saw on the front of it, that would there be super OP if it worked. So ignore the fact that I crashed into a tree then, but the, uh, the next thing that we're going on to is the trailers. Now, the trailers themselves, again, purchased from boxed cars. Again, my opinion sways on these trailers. I don't use them very much at all these days. However, I remember when I was starting off in Lumber Tycoon 2, I remember using these trailers quite a lot. And I... I remember when starting, I couldn't figure out where to get them from. I was like, where, do, where are these people getting these trailers from? And I'm looking around, I'm like, in Wood RS, I'm like, I don't see any trailers. And then I realised that box cars were the thing. I don't even think I'd ever drove over the ferry at that point. Uh, over the ferry? This is not a ferry. I don't even think I'd ever drove over the bridge at that point. So, But yeah, they're purchased from box cars. Nowadays, I don't really use them, to be honest. But maybe that's because I don't require as much wood as I used to. Because now, obviously, I have the power to build. And when I first started out, the power to build wasn't a thing. So these right here are the two trucks. This one's the cheapest one for 1,800 and this one here uh, is 13,000. Like I like the idea of them, they are good, but since the power to build has come out, we need less wood, which I think means that people do not use the trailers as much. To do some building, you usually only need one truck full of wood to then go back and process because you only need one unit to fill it with. So I would say yes, for new trailers, uh, for new trailers, for new players, the trailers may well be useful. However, for me, since I've now got the power to build, I would say the trailers are somewhat useless. Especially if you're using a good stacking technique, you can get a good couple of lava trees in the back of one of these trucks if you stack them correctly. I think that the trailers were at one time before the power to build, yes, were useful because we needed a lot more wood and those utilized us to carry more wood. However, since the power to build, we now need less wood, which means that we need less room, which means it's less likely we'll take trailers with us. So in terms of both of the trailers for the price, so the first one's 1,800 and the second one's 13,000. I would say the first one that we have is going to go in meh because the first one is just the basic one. It does the job. Again, it's really small. It is 1,800. However, the second one does have a tailgate that goes down at the back. However, you can't reverse a trailer very easily into the wood drop off, which makes that feature a bit useless other than just loading the truck. Um... I would say both the trailers are going to go in there. So the next vehicle that we are going to be reviewing is the sleigh. Now, the sleigh, let's just point out, costs $2,000 to respawn, which is pretty expensive. Even considering the Val Haulers is only $380 to respawn. The sleigh itself was added into the game as a part of the Christmas update back in 2016. I think that it just said that the sleigh itself cost around $30,000 uh, in order to purchase, which for that time I think was quite expensive, um, but bear in mind that the game was only just starting around then, whereas now we've had obviously a lot... Oh, um, um, I'm not sure that that's how you're meant to use it. Oh, there we go. Uh, which was quite expensive at that time. However, you know, nowadays, obviously, we do have more expensive presents. So it's probably, you know, doesn't seem as expensive. But I actually really, really like this trailer. Uh, and I know it might sound pathetic considering that you can't carry any wood in it. However, having a sleigh on the back does mean that you can carry two extra people. Or if you have multiple sleighs, multiple extra people around the map. And you can almost make yourself into like a sort of tour service. Like, imagine having, like, a load of um, sleighs behind you and taking, like, new players around the map, showing them things, like, you know, and you could even charge for, like, a tour service. In fact, I think I just thought of a video idea, so I'm really glad that I said that. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a tour service in Lumber Tycoon with fans. It's I, I'm going to do that. Keep an eye out for that. Um, but, yeah, I actually really, really like this sleigh. Um, it, it's probably one of my favourite vehicles. Admittedly, it does have its bugs, um such as that, let's say. Let's not talk anymore about what just happened there. Uh, it does have its bugs, but it is a ri Oh, there's a metaverse chest. Should we, should we go and grab a metaverse chest even though we've already done it? Wow, you already found this. Did I? No. Um, so, yeah, but even with all the bugs with this trailer, I still love it. Like... I absolutely love it. The fact that I just think it's so fun. Like I know that's so stupid, but I just think that it is so fun. So anyway, going over to the tier list, 
I really want to put it in Super OP just because I love it so much. I think it's just so unique as a trailer, like to be able to carry people in a trailer in like a sort of sleigh looking thing. I love it. You know what? I don't care what anyone says. The sleigh is going in Super OP because I love Christmas and because it's a sleigh. Okay, so don't argue with me. I'm warning you. Okay, so the sleigh is going in Super OP. Don't bully me for that. I've just done that. Remember, this is my opinion. I love the sleigh. That's just my opinion. So looking at the next items that we have on the list, the next item that we're going to do is the toboggan. Okay, so somehow I don't have a toboggan. I've literally gone and looked through all my slots and I do not have a toboggan. Um, I've had loads in the past. So I can't work out where they are unless I have overwritten the slot. But I can't remember the last time that I would have overwritten an important slot. So I don't know where the toboggan is. However, um, I will just go and give my opinion on it. And um, I think it's pretty fun to use. Other than the fun factor of it, it's pointless. Me and Heath have gone and used them a load. So we've used it down the icewood slide. Like, we've used it in quite a few places. It's like, And it can be used in a load of areas. It's also really good if you're making something out of icewood. Um, because obviously it's so slick. I'm sorry I can't show you an example of that. Like, for what it's meant to do, I mean, when it first came out, there was an amazing fly glitch that you could do with it and fly around the map. Uh, by sitting down on the third chair and then or is it the second seat and then holding the front and you could literally fly anywhere like that that was that was a brilliant glitch um unfortunately he obviously patched that so i would say it goes in good it's a it's a fun item it's not meant to be anything serious just there to be fun okay we're now on to our last item which as many of you will know is my favorite item and if you couldn't tell that was really sarcastic and that is this stupid tire. Now, this tire was a part of last Christmas's Christmas presents. Yeah, so it's this just here. This is the tire. For some reason, there is a bit of a glitch at the moment where you cannot pick up the boxed version of the tire. So you can't pick up the boxed tire. However, you can pick up the, uh, the unboxed and also the present form. This right here is useless. Uh, it is the most useless Christmas present. It's not interesting in my opinion. If it's going to have a purpose in the future, then whoop dee. Like, I really hope it does. But, like, as this is currently, you can't do anything with this. I think it's boring. You can't sit on it. It's just... Meh. Like, no, I don't even think it's meh. You know what it is? In this current state, where we don't know what it's for, I don't think it's for anything. I think it is literally just there to be a tyre. Or whatever. I mean, it's not even a tyre, it's a cylinder. Like, that is literally, it's a, we, we got a black cylinder. Like, it's not even a vehicle. The only reason I've put it in here is because it's to do with vehicles, and it was from box cars as a Christmas event, so yeah. It's going in oof. Oh no, not meh. No, 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 you're not good enough to go in meh. That's, that's how bad it is. It's going in oof. It's my least favourite thing in the whole game. So, yeah, there. It's in oof. So, guys, do you agree with me with where I've put these items? If you don't, or if you do, you can let me know down in the comments below. Remember, if you are new around here, to be subscribing if you want to, and turn on notifications so you're not going to miss a video. The Metaverse event week one is about to end. I think that ends tomorrow, which means that we will probably see the chest disappear. So, if you haven't gone ahead and done the Metaverse event in Lumber Tycoon 2 just yet, I would suggest going and doing that today, as this will be your last opportunity. And going on from here, it will be interesting to see whether Lumber Tycoon 2 gets more frequent updates. One other thing it will be really interesting to see is whether the icon is going to stay in the same uh, new format. Not with the metaverse um, advertisement around it, but the new icon, if that will stay, I really hope it does. But we may go back to the old one. We will have to wait and see. Guys, I will catch you in my next video.